So we were actually here on Masada, um, walking down the steps. I didn't have a chance to walk, uh, to do a video while we were up there just because of time constraints, but it took an hour to get up here and all these steps were actually walking down it. And I wanted to share with you real quick about what, why Masada is important. It's not biblical, but um, it's actually after the Jews were uh, destroyed in Jerusalem by the Romans, they came here and they actually uh, were encircled and besieged by the Romans and they committed suicide before the Romans were able to capture them. And uh, one of their, one of their uh, holy men left out the scroll of Ezekiel. In chapter 37, it talks about the dry bones being breathed into and that being uh, like a picture of the Jews being brought back to life. And why is that important? Because this was their last stand with the Romans and they didn't see how God could reestablish them, their nation. Well, actually, after 2,000 years, or almost 2,000 years, we see in 1948, the Jews come back into their land and reestablished by God. No, 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 this is just a little tidbit. No people group has ever survived outside of their land for that long and kept their identity. And so God has reestablished them, brought Israel back into the land, and has done the very thing that he said he was going to do in Ezekiel 37. And so check it out. It's really cool. It's all about the dry bones of Israel. Can God bring back to life the dry bones of Israel? Can he breathe life into them again? And we see that, um, that prophecy uh, fulfilled in 1948 with the establishment of Israel as a nation. And so, um, man, really cool place out here in the middle of nowhere. Behind me, the Dead Sea. Up here, Masada. Really cool place, come check it out.